So I hear you saying, Xander, that's great. You got a taut line, but now what? How do you attach a tarp to that line? Well, this is where the prusset comes in. So what you do is you need to start with a little bit of rope that you tie into a loop with just a simple knot. This rope I'd say is about a foot long, maybe less. You then place it up against your taut line and you wrap it once on the inside, twice on the inside, three times on the inside of itself. And you allow it to kind of coil. There we go. And they should be all nice and stacked up beside each other, just like that. And you're gonna have the prusik with a bit of rope left over. So how do you attach that to a tarp? Well, my tarp has, my tarp has these loops on it. Other tarps might just have eyelets. If you have the eyelet tarp, you can just poke this right through and you can grab a nice little stick as a toggle, attach it just like that. In the case of my tarp, which has loops like this, I'm going to put the prusik end through that loop and I can honestly just put this little toggle here and as long as it's tight, that'll do the trick. But I go one step further. I loop, I loop through the loop, back in on itself, just like that. And then I put the toggle through. Hope you can follow along with that. Not too difficult, I'm sure you guys could figure it out. But it's just like that. And the best part about the Prusik is it's adjustable. As you hold the Prusik knot, you can slide it on the line and the, the, the tarp or whatever you secure to it is fixed, just like that. If you pull on the tarp, nice and secure, but if you pull on the knot itself, you can slide it and adjust it. Wonderful, setting up, wonderful for setting up tarps. I love adjustability because forests are chaotic. They are not perfectly aligned. Trees are all over the place. So you're never gonna find a perfectly square or dimensional place to set up tarps. So having adjustability, it goes a long way. So that's the Prusik, that's my third knot. Another knot I use on my ridge line is a prusik knot. So I've just created a loop in this piece of cord here by tying an overhand knot in the end. And I'm gonna pass that over and through to create a lark's foot knot like we looked at earlier. Okay, so that is your basic lark's foot. But to create a prusik, you're gonna pass it through again. Okay, so it's basically like a kind of double Lark's foot, if you like. You can see that there's now two wraps on either side of where this end of the loop comes through. And what that does is it creates loads of friction on this ridge line here so that it grips. You can slide it along by actually moving it like this with your finger and thumb, but once that's in place and you try and pull from the side, it actually grips really well on that ridge line. You can adjust it and it grips. Adjust it and it grips. This works better when the loop that you've created the prusik out of is a thinner gauge cord to the line that you're actually gripping on. So I've got 550 paracord here, the black line as my ridge line, and then this is the three strand paracord here and that just tends to grip better. If you use both the same gauge, the same size cord, you can get a bit of slippage. So that is the Prusik knot. And I use this to attach my tarp to my ridge line. I'll either have a carabiner or I'll have a toggle which comes through here and then I can slip that along and get tension on my tarp on the ridge line. All right, so I just pulled this out and I prefer an A-frame tarp configuration almost always. I'm not a huge fan of the diamond setup. There's nothing wrong with it and I've used it. I just kind of like the old A-frame shape. I feel like it gives me better cover with my tarp. Now I can see the center seam. I'm gonna throw that up over the ridge line. And having these Prusiks pre-installed will make quick work out of pulling tension on this tarp. So I always like to take just a minute to make sure that my tarp is centered over my hammock make sure I don't have part of my hammock exposed. And then I'll just simply toggle this off and pull it tight with the Prusiks. So I'll just simply insert this Prusik through my tarp tie out, slide my toggle in place, have a little notch cut that perfectly fits that bank line. 
Now I just have to keep the tarp tight and walk down to get the other side done. Now it's really simple to just cinch back on these prussics, make sure this tarp is nice and tight, and then I have proper coverage over my hammock. That looks really good, actually. Very nice. Now we're ready to stake out the other parts.